This is, of course, one of the many reasons why I love working with open educational resources. Free, in some ways, I would say, is the, almost the least significant benefit of open educational resources. Because when we talk about open educational resources, we're talking about things that are not just free, but that come with a set of freedoms. We often refer to these as the five R's. So when we talk about the five R's, we're talking about the rights to reuse, revise, remix, retain, redistribute. And I'll break that down as I'm getting a call right now. Fascinating. What does this mean? As a faculty member, you have free, um, you are able to reuse a resource freely, uh, unhindered, without asking for permission, of course. You can revise it. You can localize it. You can translate it. You don't have to tell your students, don't read chapter four, take it out. If there's something missing, you can add it in. I've written open textbooks that have been translated into other languages that are being used around the world. You can never tell how a, a work is going to be re revised downstream. But I will say, this is like a gift that keeps giving, except that it gets more dear every time it's re-gifted. You can remix these resources. So you can take an open textbook, embed openly licensed instructional videos, simulations, all kinds of things, and make it interactive. You can retain it forever. You never lose access to it. So the student who takes anatomy and physiology in first year who wants to go on to med school feels the need to resell that book usually to recover some of that $400 spend, they can keep that reference forever. And of course, you can redistribute it. 